To help us learn how to calculate the attributable risk, we are going to imagine that a group of people were exposed to a risk factor. The plus signs signify those who were exposed, whereas the minus signs signify those who were not. And the red character icons represent those who developed the condition, whereas the white icons represent those who did not. Ten people who were exposed to the risk factor developed the condition, whereas four people who were exposed did not. Two people who were not exposed to the risk factor also developed the condition, whereas 12 people who were not exposed did not. In total, 14 people were exposed and 14 people weren't. To calculate the attributable risk, we no longer require the data found in boxes B and D. The attributable risk is calculated by subtracting the incidence of the condition in those who were exposed by the incidence of the condition in those who were not. The incidence of the condition in those who were exposed is calculated by dividing A by A plus B, and the incidence of the condition in those who were not exposed is calculated by dividing C by C plus D. So after adding in the necessary values, we find that the attributable risk is 0 0.57. Once more, the attributable risk is calculated by subtracting the incidence of the condition in those who were exposed to the risk factor by the incidence of the condition in those who were not.